Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to the Da Vinci Code, where we are now exploring Westminster Abbey in search for a fallen physician? Physics? Yeah, ph not physician. Physics. Enthusiast, uh, Newton. Um, hold on. What does it want me to... Oh, no. What does it want me to look at here? Um, so, I was thinking about, like, the idea of the Da Vinci Code as a video game. Because, like, the, the concept of taking a, a book or movie like the Da Vinci Code and turning it into a video game, especially at the time that this game was released, is a bit odd. Um, let's see. Is there a we are, you are here? Yes. You are... It's too bad I can't zoom in on this map. Um, nope, nope. So I am there. There's St. John's Temple. King Henry III's tomb. Chaucer Shakespeare. Newton's tomb. He gets his whole, a whole tomb to himself. The Cloister, Chapter House, and the Art Restoration House. So let's head over to, uh, let's head over to Chaucer and Shakespeare first, just for shits and giggles. Um, and then we can, I believe we need it, let's see, you are here, so we'd head straight, and it would be to the right is to Newton. Um, so like turning the Da Vinci Code, uh, like a story that's basically like, a lot of twists, a lot of turns. I don't think it's related to what we're doing. Uh, but very it plot centric. It's very, like, the Da Vinci Code doesn't suffer from it as much, but one of his later Dan Brown's later books. This isn't important right now. Maybe I'll come back later. All right. Um. Uh. One of Dan Brown's later books, I believe it was Inferno, uh, is the one that really suffers from information dumping. Like, there's just. You get a chapter of exposition, and then uh, a chapter of plot. And then a chapter of exposition, and a chapter of plot. And it really kind of shows that these books, these stories don't really have much character development. Um, if I push that work light into the water, it would probably zap that guard. A makeshift taser. Why would we do such a thing? <laughs> Do I have to wait for that guard to come back? Does it- do I actually need to? This is a really, really odd... Like... Why am I electrocuting this guard? Okay, so, um, he's an actual murderer now. Okay, that's probably just a weapon. This should come in useful. Um, I'm gonna put it out here so it's easier to find in case I need it. Also, for some reason, I can't change the camera angle in this room. This is it. The <laughs> Sir Isaac what does the next part of the cryptic scroll say? Why are they not even looking at each other? This child's son is key to find the world. Interesting. This child's son is key to find... Okay, so, um... Back when this game came out, the idea of having a very plot-centric... Um... Video game... Uh... Wasn't... Uh, wasn't really that big out... Because, like, the adventure genre... Had largely died off by then. And by died off, I mean... I guess went, um... Dormant. Is probably the better... This is a Latin inscription that gives a general idea about Isaac Newton's life and work. Okay. But I feel like if if you're you're turning it into a game now, you might look at like something like Life is Strange or uh, like Telltale style games. A prism is used to diffract light into different colors. To be honest, I don't know much about it. 
This shows the arrangement of the planets. A telescope is used to view the planets <laughs> and stars. Newton probably used one to make many of his observations. That sounds like crazy talk to me. Newton, Newton just stood there. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton just stood there. He like he took his hand, made like a like a little telescope out of his thing, his thumb and his index finger, and just was like, ah, I can see the stars. These are Newton's great works: Divinity, Chronology, Optics, and Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Of light reading. You just just coffee table reading. Take it onto a plane. The reclining figure is Newton, and those angels are holding a mathematical formula. Is that an orb above them? That's a celestial orb resting in a pyramid at the top. It has the signs of the zodiac on it. Who is that on top of the orb? That's a figure representing the science of astronomy. Okay. That is all very interesting, but there's a celestial orb at the top of a pyramid. What do I do with any of that? I mean, really. Because like <clears throat> one of I I guess you could say like one of the issues that this game suffers from is its need to uh to do puzzles, to do stealth, to do... to be a game. And if there's anything to learn from games like Life is Strange, uh, like walking simulators in general, is that you don't necessarily need gameplay uh, to tell, like, an inter to be an interactive story. Also, I can barely see this, uh, that guard, uh, rope, but... Hmm. Well, I located his tomb, but I cannot reveal its secrets. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, that was just a secret. It did not count towards the puzzle. So, I probably should head off and see if I can explore some other rooms right now. Because Newton's tomb isn't giving me much to go on. I'll just leave this guy lying on the floor that I electrocuted. I wonder if he, he he's holding any keys I can snag. Nope. Also... I guess I'm not allowed... I, I, I was not allowed to be there? Even though the doors were open. Okay, now let's see if I can actually look at stuff. What are you doing? I just wanted to look at this. Well, it's not important. Let's continue with what we were doing. The monument to Shakespeare is missing. The sign says that it has been moved to the renovation room for restoration. Hmm. Why did I have to press that twice to open up the doors? Ooh, a large bandage. They're just leaving it lying around. No, this isn't it. You're right. That won't work. I won't be able to use the green and orange juice. Why did I have to slide it all the way? It's a cleaning brush. This might be useful later. So chemicals, no. Brush, yes. Good. I'm glad we were able to uh, settle that. Um, now apparently I have to go to the uh, to find the statue of Shakespeare for some reason. That has become important. Also, there's this door, and I don't know where that goes. The cloister. 
Actually, let's check the map real quick. Um, I believe the uh, restoration room is on the left. Oh, but it is through the door to the cloister. Um, yeah, past the chapter house. And from here, I can find St. Joseph's Ch Temple. Yes, I can speak and not say sh sh all the time, I swear. Um, so we might as well... I'm sure I had to do that for some... That's also kind of like the interesting thing about these older type of ad adventure games. Is that you start interacting with the world and you're just kind of doing things without realizing how the pieces come together. I can move this. This is interesting, but I don't think it's related to what we're doing. I don't know. I think it's pretty related. There is a lock. I don't think I have everything I need to do this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's head towards the cloister. And uh, check out the art uh, restoration section. Presumably for that statue of Shakespeare. Although I would imagine this will bring us closer to Remy. As he's better known. Ah, uh, and there are mercenaries about. And pigeons that fly directly through people. Um. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was the way to the... Art restoration. Is connected to that light overhead. I could probably untie it and drop it on someone. Must have been someone over in this direction. Um, so did somebody get alerted, or... Or did the person I just dropped that on... This looks useful. ...get alerted? Right before he got knocked unconscious. Also... Uh, since when did he start getting, like, traps he could use on bad guys? The Art Restoration Hall. Hmm. There are two guys. Why is he going back to Acme? Does he plan to join the anvil business? You know... I was planning to join the anvil business once business uh, in anvil started picking up. You know, strike while the iron's hot sort of thing. Oh, I'm okay with that uh, outcome. I'm not entirely sure how he didn't see me, but that's what I'm talking about in regards to, uh, like, this game came out at the wrong time uh, because, like... Turn on this light. I could probably distract one of those guards. Hmm. Interesting. Like, all of a sudden we're getting these uh, new mechanics. Uh, get out of my way, Sophie. Uh, these new mechanics. I could distract a mercenary by flipping this light on. Uh, that weren't really introduced earlier. Or used earlier. Uh, so it's like... So... I think it, it can be easily be said that this is a rushed title. Considering all of the weird stuff that we've run into, this could be handy. The puzzles that are doubled up. There has to be something else to find. Ooh, there's a large bandage. 
next to these rugs. They've I got think this controls the power to the renovation room. That should cast some light on the situation. I damn it. I accident. I accidentally skipped the cutscene. One second. Okay, so apparently in order to properly drag people, uh, you have to do so from from their sh their head, not their feet. Like, I've been always dragging people from their feet, and it doesn't always work out. You have to drag them from their head, and you have to flip them over first. They can't be face down, they must be face up in order to proper properly be dragged. This looks useful. So now let's try this again, but without skipping the cutscene. The power to the renovation room. That should cast some light on the situation. I cannot believe you just said that. What in blazes? Who's flipping the lights on? That. Why is the camera blocked off like this? Grid clear. We're good. Really? Ah, this guy sucked. What is Sophie doing over there? <laughs> Forcing my hand. It's kind of funny to see like both of us in our weird like grapple animation because of the way this game's comp. I am an agent of the judicial police. Then act like one, kick his butt. Looks like I might have to save her. No, no alert. Although the, it's clear you can see why they're giving me so many um, health packs this time around, uh, because. There are a lot more mercenaries just kind of roaming. Well, you'll be feeling that when you wake up. You know, they're giving all these taunts to these guards who are knocked unconscious. Like, I don't think they're going to really be uh, paying attention. No, this isn't it. That won't work. I like how he's saying That's that. What, I'm looking for. what are you looking for, actually? Ooh, bolt cutters. Um, I wonder if those are going to be used to cut the uh, lock on the door to the chapel. And I'm guessing that is the statue of Shakespeare. M I like how he's tapping air. It's always a good time. Um, let's see, what have we got here? Some Latin, I guess. I still can't make it out. It's covered in mildew. We'll have to clean it somehow. How about with this brush? I guess I can't use the brush by itself. Or I have to first just look at it like this. I think I need something else to complete this. All right. I, I like how the cleaning supplies are not in the art restoration room. You would expect them to be in the art restoration room, but that's just crazy talk. I wonder. Let's see. I, I, like, there are the cleaning chemicals in here. Oh, I can't even look at that palette anymore. That's how you know it's useless. When the game decides, you, yeah, this is done. Where do those doors up there go? 
All right. I guess let's uh, see if we could get our way into the temple. Plus, there was that other path that we didn't go on. Also, I like how they reuse the, these like two area rugs. They're just lying on top of one another. And then there's just that one that has three rugs. Alright, and then there's that mercenary down that a ways. No home alone style trap to get him. Ooh, but there is a This could be handy. I mean, like, even if he turns around, it's just one guy. I don't think I did this correctly. You're right. You failed. Well done. I like how he's congratulating himself before he actually uh, cuts the lock. It's good time. Ooh. Will I find the cleaning supply I need here? No, this isn't it. So it's not the gallon of soap that I want. Okay. That won't work. So I don't need soap to clean off mildew. No, this isn't it. This isn't important. That won't work. Uh. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's a marble cleaning solution. All right. That's exactly. Well, she decided to cut herself off. Now we can get that grime off the Shakespeare monument. Because Robert Langdon's tough on grime. When I get back to Acne, I think I'll take a long holiday. You know, it's very nice of him for announcing uh, himself. Because I assume there was nobody conscious in this area. I was not aware of his presence, but using this soapy brush. <laughs> it looks like a quote from the Tempest. What does it say? The cloud cup towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself. Yea, all which it inherit shall dissolute, and like the baseless fabric of a vision, leave not a wreck behind. Huh. Something strange about it. Yeah, that Shakespeare was kind of a strange guy. But I have no idea what to make of that. It looks like a quote from the Tempest. I'm also not entirely sure where this puzzle is that I should be investigating. Like, I, I guess it's the, the crypt. There's the Shakespeare scroll is. Uh, let's head back to the main part of the, uh, the abbey. Uh, see if I can get into the chapel using these uh, bolt cutters. And do the bolt cutters work on this? So far, so good. Yes, they do. Right in main view of everybody. All right, so what did I need to get in St. John's Temple that wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't available elsewhere. This is interesting, but I don't think it's related to what we're doing. It might matter later. 
Yeah, this will do. Um. So. Nothing? There's a golf club. A tomb I have. I can't really do anything with. Alright, let's go to Sir Isaac Newton's tomb again. Uh, see what's going on back there, if anything has changed. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. I have the Priory There's Ring on me, orb at the top of a pyramid but I always the have the, the Priory the Ring on me. Is a person representing astronomy. Like it, so it makes me wonder if I'm supposed to use... Hold on. There we go. Finally. Look, it's come loose. There must be something more to it. What do we do now? Something happened. I'm just not sure what. There's a scroll inside. Oh, okay. What does it say? It looks like a series of five sounds, uh. possibly riddles. Grandpere would have put them in the order we needed to read them. Well, assuming Seigneur did write them. It doesn't hurt to start at the top. The father of the English poems of yore, whose Canterbury tales held moral core, clockwise around a shield stops the name of he who can absolve your sin and shame. So, that would be Chaucer. Though many tried his words to find the rose, in Eam's writ this man of loves and woes, a word you'll find that lies within the prose, which here denoted grants a ring repose. A lot of alliteration there for Shakespeare. The first child king of England made... Ah, no, I dropped my controller. The first child king of England made this place, where now he rests inside Confessor's grace. The bard's denoted word will help you find a way to help release a king of kind. So would that be the guy who's inside the chapel? The cousin of the Queen Elizabeth in Somerset the Baron lost his breath. His mother with a soldier ran away, but not before the night had made her day. Think back on all you have now observed, and find the knight with whom you first conferred. He seeks the orb that ought to be on his tomb, but only if the seed lies in its womb. Okay. Well, the first scroll poem is, uh... is uh, Chaucer, and his tomb is out, blah, 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 is uh, out in, um, there's the first poem, the father's, blah, blah, clockwise, clockwise around a shield stops the name, uh, blah, blah, okay, so let's go to Chaucer's grave, so Chaucer's tomb. You know it was Chaucer that essentially made English the standard language among the upper class in London? Back then, they were speaking French. They mostly spoke French and Latin. Grandpere loved old poetry, as you can tell by the poems that lead us to here. Right. Let's look at that poem again. Clockwise around the shield stops the name of he who can absolve your sin and shame. Hmm. It's Latin. The translation seems to be a poetic eulogy. It reads, Of old the bard who struck the noblest strains. Great Geoffrey Chaucer, now this tomb retains. If for the period of his life you call, the signs are under that will note you all. In the year of our Lord, 1400, on the 25th of October, death is the repose of cares. N. Brigham charged himself with these in the name of the Muses, 1556. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. And Brigham. Hmm. In Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, 
One of the stories was told by a knight. A knight in those days was not unlike the Arthurian legends, but perhaps a little more mercenary and a little less chivalrous. Sophie, you'd like Chaucer's story, The Wife of Bath's Tale. Would I? The prioress was a nun in charge of a priory. That makes sense to me. There's also a story about a partner in the Canterbury Tales. A partner is someone who would absolve people of sin for a fee. So only the rich went to heaven? Sometimes they ended up very poor. Unfortunately, it was usually the poor who would pay. In the story, the partner's prologue goes into detail about the partnering business. Hmm, that's interesting. But I've got this shield. And I believe it said clockwise around the shield. Clockwise around a shield stops the name of he who can absolve your sin and shame. A pardoner. It looks like something might go on top of this shield. Perhaps it turns. It won't move on its own. I need to get some sort of leverage. Hmm. Everything we have seen so far has come apart easily when we had the right parts. So we need to find the right parts. Do I... Oh! Maybe the sun orb? It looks like these letters can be moved around now. Moved around to make what, though? Are Oh, that's that's the that's the tricky part. What I need to do is I need to spell the word pardoner. So because it wasn't spelling that word. <sighs> All right, how do I do this? Okay. Wow. That took far too long. And I got a large ring out of it. We got it. What's this? It looks like it's a, a large ring. ring. It's too large to fit on a normal person's finger. Is it mentioned in the next poem? Let's see. Though many tried his words to find the rose. In I am's writ this man of loves and woes, a word you'll find that lies within the prose, which here denoted grants a ring repose. Okay. Let's take a look at this ring and possibly head over to uh, Shakespeare's. Let's see. This large ring. Was there, blah, blah, blah. It appears to be crowned with a replica of the Globe Theater. It was found inside a hidden compartment within Sir Ch Joffrey Chaucer's tomb. So let's head over to um, Shakespeare's uh, statue. Okay, so let's see if we can put the ring on the statue. Perhaps I should try something else. No. On the... Yep, on the finger there. That did it. It fits perfectly. Look, look, it opened something up. What's inside? A hand crank? Alright. What's this for? Let's look at the next poem. The first child king of England made this place where now he rests inside mm. Confessor's grace. The bard's denoted mm. words will help you find a way to help release mm. a king of kind. Okay, so I'm guessing that has to do with the, uh, 
the guy who's in the chapel. So let's go take a look. Oh, and we've reached a checkpoint. So let's save our game. Oh, you know, it's it's convenient that this mercenary is facing away from me. It kind of reminds me of um, the video game Manhunt. In that, like, the very first guy that you run into, like, uh, he's facing away from you, and then just around the door, he's standing guard in. There's a big sign that's that says, like, Yep, kill this dude. He's dead. Like, like, he, like he was specifically set up, uh, not just by the game de game's designers, um, like the actual designers of the game, but also the people within like Brian Cox's character within the game. I just wanted to look at this. Well, it's okay. not important. Let's continue with what we were doing. Okay, so I guess that uh isn't it's not that guy. Uh let's head back to the um map. Um, let's see, there's one more grave, there's Chaucer, King Henry the Third. I don't think I've been to that tomb yet. So that's gonna be... ...down this way, but on the right. So let's ha see how King Henry the Third is doing. There's some writing here. It says William. As in Shakespeare? As in the creator of this tomb. Or maybe both, knowing Sonier. Let's look at the poem again. The bald's denoted world will help you find a way to help release a king of kind. So far, every previous tomb has given us something for the next one. Good point. Hmm. Lots of holes. But only one. Actually, I was going to say lots of holes, but it seems as if. There's some sort of hole here in the center of these shapes. It seems to only react to the work. to the center one. So, huh? So it starts with a W, an N, a T, or a E. Did the two poems mention anything about a password? Both poems made reference to a denoted world. So I need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word that begins with a W, N, T, or E. So in theory, that m shouldn't be that many poems. So let's go take a look at the, I think it's the second and third poem. So many, hmm. Or is it the... Temples is being pointed to. Temples is a seven letter word. Beginning with the letter T. Nope, nope, there we go. Uh, P, give me an L. What does that spell? Progress. That's what it spells. Who knew that putting all those letters, temple, T-E-M-P-L-E-S, that would spell progress. Crazy talk. Oh. I wonder, oh, this'll go into the, uh, oh, chapel. What's this? It looks like a small tile piece with a crown on it. It could be a king's crown, which would match what the poem told us. What does the next poem say? The cousin of the Queen Elizabeth. In Somerset, the Baron lost his breath. His mother with a soldier ran away, but not before the night had made her day. That's a lot of people. Yes, but in keeping with the previous poems, only one of them is a central figure. Dun dun dun! Although, you see, um, I don't mind the fact that these other uh, poems are easy puzzles in comparison to the last one, uh, because that slide puzzle took way too long. 
Look, and there are tiles with symbols on them. I know. Ah, there's a chessboard on top. Tiles is, missing. is it this empty space that's occupied by right. the king? Do I have to play a game of chess? Hmm. These tiles can be pushed down. It's almost like a combination lock. Only with symbols mm. instead of numbers. Mm. Let's see if I can manage this without the uh, hints. So that was not the f not the fifth one. We want the fourth poem. The cousin of the queen in Somerset the Baron? There is a baron on the chest because I thought it was just the rook, the knight, the... And her, her mother with a soldier? Huh. Queen, maybe queen, bishop. I don't know who, like, that pawn might be a soldier. But there are no pawns here. Baron? Blacksmith? Bard? Uh, this guy's. I guess I just presumed it was chess, but it's not. Priest, merchant, knight, queen, king, baron, soldier, blacksmith, bard. So, let's go back to that poem, because clearly we are not dealing with chess. As I had initially assumed. The cousin of the queen, so queen, baron, soldier, knight. Um, that's... Queen... Baron... Soldier... Knight. Hmm... Somerset the Bear, his mother with a soldier, but not before the night made her day. Hmm. The poem has something to do with this. I think all of the characters in the poem are represented by tiles. Hmm. The poem doesn't seem to give the right order. Well, uh. the wording of the last line implies a reversal of order. It does? The queen and cousin of the Queen Elizabeth in Somerset the Baron lost his breath. His mother with a soldier ran away, but not before the night had made her day. So, what does that mean? Queen, Baron, Knight, Soldier? So that's Queen... Damn it. That's Queen, Baron, Knight. There we go. Decrypted. An unusual cylinder. It reminds me a little of the shield on Chaucer's tomb. Let's read the last poem. Think back on all you have now observed, and find the knight with whom you first conferred. So, Isaac Newton. That ought to be on his tomb, but only if the seed lies in its womb. Slightly mysterious. Oh, I was going to say, why is the camera over there? You will not use that golf club against us for violence. Just give up. Oh. The force? I said that before, didn't I? Better move him out of sight. And now that I know I can actually... See? I finally learned the drag mechanics. It's great. 
Now I can be like, ugh. There's a, there's a weird little pause when he's turning. A little odd. But now we can take this unusual cylinder. Now she says it reminds her of the Chaucer tomb. But I would be surprised if we took it there. I would imagine we would probably take it back to uh, Sir Isaac Newton's tomb because he was the knight I first conferred. So, and I would be surprised if Newton's tomb uh, has no people around it. Oh, okay. I suppose 20 to 1 on the third race. Nah, that's a punter's bet. Hmm. You know, this is problematic because in this room I can't change the camera angle. Sun orb cavity. There's a hole in the back here. As though something might fit in there. But hmm. no worlds? Remember, we are looking for the past world to the cryptex. T Bing's life depends on it. I know, Sophie. Let's examine everything carefully. It fits perfectly. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? Look, a drawer slid out. There's a scroll inside, but it looks like it's missing half. This hmm. final puzzle will reveal the word that frees you from the losses you incurred. Huh. But where's the other half? Why am I able to look at the empty space? Why can't I pick up these tile pieces? Or this torn scroll? Maybe I can lay down... Oh, there's this other torn scroll. It fits perfectly. So strange a message, though. Reading it out loud sometimes helps. Reading it out loud at a very loud volume always helps. ...from the losses you incurred. Your family reunion is at hand. See through the picture and you'll understand. Family reunion? Robert, everyone in my family is dead but me. That'd be a very disturbing reunion. But I think your grandfather may have had something else in mind. Look, these tiles were meant to go on top of the completed scroll. Ah, you're right. Let us see what picture <laughs> the tiles form. Is this another slide puzzle? Because if it is... Okay, luckily I just have to swap these out. Because, oh my gosh, if I had to deal with another slide puzzle... I would be very, very unhappy. Although it looks like there's a message in these, uh... Ooh, there's some, some holes in here which would reveal a message. So these three go together. Oh, never mind. Those four go together. Yeah. Unfortunately, it cut away before I can see what it's spelled. So, I'm sure it'll cut back. Hey, 
And... church. Robert, look. There are holes in the tiles. You can see letters through them. P-A-Y. E-N-S. Payans? the final password for the cryptex. And Huda Payans founded the Knights Templar. Which means that this must be a Templar church in the picture. Now what do we do? We can use this to get Teabing back. But Robert, anyone vile enough to threaten someone's life like this does not deserve to know the secret of the Grail. I don't think we have much of a choice at this point. Teabing is my friend. Our friend. If anything should happen to him... That is quite enough. I am afraid you two are very overdue. Remy. Overdue for what? Ah, I believe to die. The one with the power of here. My gun will point you in the proper direction to move your feet. Go. And then he vanished. Just as mysteriously as he arrived. Okay, now he's back. You wait here. And if you value life, be it yours or hers, I suggest you not move. Okay, now let's he seems to have one animation for shoving people. I hope you did not think I did this all by myself. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Remy, I am afraid your services are no longer needed. Oh my. <gasps> Teacher. Oh, okay. Please believe I never had any intention of your being involved. You came to my home. You came searching for me. Please. Well, what the hell are you doing? We thought you were in trouble. We came here to help you. As I trusted you, we have much to discuss. Let Sophie leave. You and I can discuss this alone. I have given you the cryptex as a show of good faith, and I'm afraid that is all that I can afford to give you. Well, you couldn't solve it. This traitorous. I need your help. Maybe I can dislike Tibing long enough for Robert to think of something. Teabing is the type of person who hates having his own world used against him. Uh, let's see. I thought you told us that only the wor- the P- the- up oh, there you go. told us that only the wealthy can find the Grail. Let's see if we can solve the Cryptex. What? How dare you say such a thing? How do you know that the Grail so that's is my life's work? P-A-Y? Weren't we all friends? being too cowardly to release the truth to the world, we wouldn't be in this position now. But here we are. And, Robert, you must make your decision. What can you possibly hope to gain through this? Why, Langdon, the one thing that I have always the wanted grail? the most. To release the Sangrial documents to the public as they were always intended to be by the Priory. If the Priory wanted to release the documents, Sonier would have done so. Ah, but I discovered a terrible truth. The reason the documents were not released at the beginning of the new millennium. At the ultimate moment of truth, Jacques Sonnier changed his mind. So you blame Sonnier because the Sangreal documents were never released? Wait. If Tibing is behind everything... Then he got... Yeah, then he got his grandpa killed. And all of this out. He is the one responsible for Grand Bale. You can tell her vengeance is brewing because of the cold, dead expression on her face. It's your own fault the documents were never released. <laughs> Truly laughable. I will release them as soon as Robert makes the right choice. What could the church possibly have over Sonnier? The church has 2,000 years of experience pressuring those who threaten to unveil its lies. Since the days of Constantine, the church has successfully hidden the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. We should not be surprised that now, once again, they have found a way to keep the world in the dark. The church may no longer employ crusaders to slaughter non-believers, but their influence is no less persuasive, no less insidious. Employing crusaders, persuasive influence. That dead expression on her face. She's give her soul has given up. There is only hate brewing in her soulless eyes. Let's see. Um, church has nothing to do. You are better than the church. The church has nothing to hide. You are no better than the church. It worked. Now for the next part. 
What are you talking about? You manipulated Silas and Remy into working for you. Hey, ends. People who did not believe as you did. But everything I did was to expose the truth. Ah. It doesn't matter if you become exactly like the very thing you despise. Oh, no, my dear. You have no idea of what you speak. Perhaps I can illustrate my point with something you've been wondering about since you were old enough to think. Miss Navu, for some time now, your grandfather has wanted to tell you the truth about your family. How could you know that? My methods are immaterial. The important thing we hmm. need to You know, right now considering the this. fact that they don't look at each other, your mother, your like, father, it, it makes it slightly less dramatic. Were not accidental. What dun, saying? dun, dun. Robert, it explains everything. All the pieces fit. History repeats itself. The church has a precedent of murder when it comes to silencing the Sangri Arm. With the end of days imminent, killing the Grand Master's loved ones sent a very clear message. Uh, Be quiet. Okay, okay, that's... Next. The end of He's days being imminent? Said, but there is one murderer to be blamed. Even if the judge did murder my parents, he is no better. And now you have taken over where the church and has now left you off. Have taken over where the church has left off. At first you don't succeed. Try, try again. What do you mean? You have no proof about what happened to my parents. But now we do know one truth. It was you who murdered my grandfather. It was his own fault. He and his seneschal lied. You know, just just like Otherwise, reach over and like punch him. He's not even pointing his gun at you. How was I to imagine the Grand Master would go to such ends to deceive me? and bequeath the keystone to an estranged granddaughter. Someone so unqualified to hold this knowledge that she required a symbologist babysitter. So it was am I babysitting her, or am I babysitting the symbols? The keystone was coming to Chateau Villette. Silas was supposed to steal it from you there, thus removing you from the equation without hurting you, and exonerating me from any suspicion of complicity. However, when I saw the intricacy of Sonia's codes, I decided to include you both in my quest a bit longer. I could have Silas steal the keystone later, once I knew enough to carry on alone. The Temple Church. But you still need a scapegoat. Someone to blame for the murders that lead to the miraculous recovery of the Sangreal documents. I am afraid that Silas served his purpose all too well. As we speak, he is no doubt under the arrest of the police, and he is a well-known member of Manor's Day. Listen, can you hear it? The Grail is speaking to us across the centuries. She's begging to be saved from the Priory's folly. I implore you both to recognize this opportunity. We need to swear an oath together. A pledge of faith to one another. A no. To uncover the truth and make it known. I will never Still no. My father's murderer. Accept an oath that I will see you go to prison. I am sorry. Ooh, the you, Dutch angle. And you, Robert. Are you with why, why is he as a gun multiplying himself? Let Sophie go, and we'll figure it out together at Newton's tomb. I am not going anywhere. That cryptix was given to me by my grandfather. It is not yours to open. Sophie, please. You're in danger. I'm trying to help you. Robert! My grandfather would prefer his secret lost forever than see it in the hands of his murderer. Shoot me if you have to. I am not leaving my grandfather's legacy in your hands. Very well. No, Lee. If you even think about it, I will drop this. That bluff won't work on me. I know you better than that. Do you, Lee? I am a lone knight, surrounded by unworthy... And then he throws the cryptex to distract him, because he already has what's inside the cryptex. I have to protect Sophie and the Grail. That's what I'm expecting to happen next. Let's find out once this uh, game gets saved. Yep. No. Arrest him. The old one. The Grail. Don't you understand? The Holy Grail. It's lost. Lost. 
was nearly over, but there was one final scroll, one last rhyme to lead us to the ultimate answer. The Holy Grail beneath ancient Roslyn waits. Adorned in Master's loving art she lies. She rests at last beneath the starry skies. Hmm. The Roslyn Chapel. Although it now seems, I guess, uh, the police were listening in because I they had to arrest him on some grounds. Ah, the artistry, the stained glass. Oh, it is achingly beautiful. It is so beautiful. It physically oh, pains me. Ancient Roslyn waits. Well, we'll heal. What's next? The next line says the blade and chalice guarding over her gates. So I guess we look for the symbols of the blade and chalice. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.